So Big Sur has been out for Apple products for a little while now. Today, we're talking about ArchiCAD 24 and Big Sur. Is it time to upgrade or should you wait? What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Today, like I previously mentioned, we're talking about Big Sur and we're talking about ArchiCAD 24. To give you a point of reference, everything we're talking about today was generated on a late 2015 iMac. It was previously upgraded from Catalina to Big Sur and has been completely wiped starting fresh. ArchiCAD 24 has also been updated with every single hotfix and all the plugins have been applied. We're running a USB key dongle that directly plugs into the back of the iMac. All the files are downloaded directly off the cloud, saved onto the desktop for practicality and to be able to run the tests in the same way. So let's start by talking about speed. Everybody's been talking that the Big Sur has been a great performance boost for all Macs. Regardless of what product you have and how old it is, apparently it has been a good performance jump across the board. So I genuinely wanted to test this before I upgraded to Big Sur. The test was very simple. Download an ArchiCAD file, open it up, and see how long it takes for ArchiCAD to start loading and to be able to actually use it. I don't know about you guys, but every single time I load ArchiCAD, it takes a pretty decent amount of time. So I wanted to test this on Catalina and then again on Big Sur when it was fully upgraded. So there isn't an overly technical way of doing this except by breaking down the loading stages in phases. I tested the speed and performance in three loading stages. It was a very simple test. If you've ever used ArchiCAD on a Mac before, you'll know all of these phases very, very well. So the first phase was clicking on the ArchiCAD file and opening it up with ArchiCAD 24. The logo at the bottom of the dock would start bouncing and the end of that phase would be when the ArchiCAD 24 logo appeared on the screen. That second phase would then end when ArchiCAD would actually open and begin its processing of all the libraries and parts. And finally, that third phase would end when ArchiCAD was actually usable. So I performed this over a number of times, every time shutting down the iMac, loading it back up again and repeating the test from a fresh reboot. I wanted the test to be fair, to be exactly the same and for there to be no cached memory so I deleted the cache every time as well. Now the speeds on Catalina were relatively okay, personally speaking. We had an overall load time of two minutes and six seconds. It was broken down into those three phases. One, bounce, which took 24 seconds and 99 milliseconds. The 24 ArcCAD logo took a minute and 35 seconds and one millisecond to disappear. And the load time took 31 seconds and 42 milliseconds to actually be usable. Overall, two minutes and six seconds. This test was performed five times and those numbers are an average of those five test results. Once I upgraded to Big Sur, I repeated these tests and the numbers were actually really good. So not to give anything too quickly away, but the numbers came in at two minutes and three seconds versus two minutes and six seconds. The overall performance boost isn't huge, but having just that small comparison there is enough. To break it down further, if you're interested where those performance changes occurred, it took 21 seconds and 77 milliseconds for the bounce to stop. It took a minute and seven seconds and 94 milliseconds for the 24 logo to disappear, and then an additional 33.67 seconds for ArchiCAD to be usable. So now we know that ArchiCAD 24 loads better but are there any bugs that we should be worried about? Are there any major glitches that are gonna cause concern? Well, for the last week, I've used it for 10 hours a day, every single day at minimum. Two of those days, I used it for 14 hours a day, and without having to jump to the end of the video, there was no major issues. There were a couple of issues that I will talk about in a second, but overall, there was no major crashes, there was no major stalls, it was not a problem whatsoever. So if you're looking to upgrade to Big Sur, then there's actually no genuine reason to wait. From my experience of working on ArcCAD 24 with Big Sur for the last week, there has been no major issues that have caused me to regret my decision. However, like I said a minute ago, there are a couple small minor bugs that you notice here and there. First of all, the graphics are a little bit all over the shop and they're not uniform whatsoever. Big Sur has implemented that iPad style graphics and is really pushing that through in the Macs. When you load up ArchiCAD 24 and use any native ArchiCAD elements, you get those new iPad style graphics. 
However, when you use some plugins that aren't native to ARCHICAD, you're going to see some graphical discrepancies. The main ones are very obvious and they're not a big deal. You can really work around them. When using a random plugin, for me, it was 4D library. Every time I opened up the settings and looked through them, everything seemed okay except when I went to exit out, the exit cross was a little bit squished and disproportional. But again, not a big deal, the button still worked absolutely fine. Secondly, you just start to get thrown off by the different graphics. You'll open up one window, it'll look like one thing. You'll open up another window, it'll look completely different and you don't know where to click. So it's more of just an uh, inconsistency in the UI that hasn't been updated 100%. However, from a technical aspect and from it working productively, absolutely no issues. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you next Monday.